Welcome to Minneapolis where I'm actually freezing. I'm actually wearing a mask to keep my facial hair from snapping off like little icicles. It's probably zero or one degrees as is normal around here. And this is an old flower factory. We are in the historic mill district where they used to, probably maybe still do, produce tons of flour and other products related to grain and corn that's grown here in the in the corn belt because of the mighty Mississippi River back then there used to be huge water mills that would grind and process the all the products grown here and taken to these mills and big companies like Pillsbury and all, all the others uh, had headquarters here where uh, lots of industry occurred so we're gonna be walking around going to a mill mill museum and check out Minneapolis Go up the um, the elevator and see the observation deck. fire. There's the, the river over there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, no, we got off prematurely. Hold on. Wait, sorry.
So did the uh, the fire basically burned more than half of this original structure, right? Is this just, is this what remains? Yeah, I think maybe it was probably a little over a third to a half um, because the building does go back a decent bit this way. Okay. But yeah, the fire gutted this entire area, and it would have been eight stories tall. And obviously now it's not, so mm -hmm. yeah. took a lot of it away. Mm -hmm. well, let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to. Strong. Maybe that's the point, right? Like, can't control the earth. You can't block the river code. You need a small one to go there. Because, like, there, look, now it's going to be pretty tough. <laughs> Dusting off a few cookies. 
Well, I never. You're worse than a kid. I just can't make cookies fast enough for you. You could if you didn't make them so good. Bet you this is a new Betty Crocker recipe. I'll bet you. Smarty, it is. I found it in my new sack of gold metal flour. I remember running home one cold day and my mother taking an apple pie out of the oven. She made a little one just for me. I remember that whenever I see a sack of gold metal flour. Mother's got a messy memory for gold metal. So, we just finished the tour of the Mill City Museum. And I have to say, it's a very, very good museum. The, the All the staff is very knowledgeable. They're happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, they have a really cool flower tower exhibit where you go up a elevator. And each floor of the elevator is like a different point in history where you can kind of get a snapshot of the past and see what life back then was sort of in each level of the factory which is over there you get to see that at the top there's a really cool observation deck where you get a view of really the, the river skyline of minneapolis uh, there's a bunch of really interactive things as well there's like a baking uh lab activity you can they have a interactive river sort of table where you get to experiment with building uh, river power turbines and see the how people throughout time have manipulated and harnessed the power of the rivers to turn the machines and the mills that uh, were powered by the rivers uh, tons of really cool information um, I think one entry ticket is like 11 bucks so and you can easily spend half if not the whole day really learning about all this so i definitely recommend it uh it was a lot of fun uh any any takeaways oh great learning about just the flower milling industry and how um, it was so important here in minneapolis yeah, yeah this is great i'm learning about a new industry that i know nothing about but i consume a lot of things with flowers Let's just say this place has a explosive history. Uh, it went out with a bang, literally speaking. And you'll, and you'll learn more about that if you come. Flour is explosive, I didn't know that. Yes, too much flour, uh, not good. Well, you also learn about the crazy work conditions as well that a lot of the workers here had to go through. Um, yeah, definitely recommend if you're in Minneapolis for a day. Um, yeah, so before my beard freezes off anymore, see you later.